On today's episode of 3B Outdoors, Kevin Powers and I have the Z9 behind us. We're going south on Interstate 81 for a short one hour drive to the Bass Factory, better known as Douglas Lake. Almost every national professional tournament trail has made a stop there in the last few years. Along the way, there's a little town called Dandridge. If you're ever in the area, take a few minutes, stop in, meet some of the people, browse through the shops, try out some of the food, and you'll see what East Tennessee hospitality is all about firsthand. Today, the water temperature is cold, it's muddy, the wind's blowing, but Kevin and I, well, we're gonna catch it. I'm Nathan Light, and welcome to 3B Outdoors. Outdoors, bucks, bass, and beers. These motor mates, they're great. Stop of the day. Don't a fat daddy. A rashy. Was it a rashy? Fish. Good one? Yeah, it's a good one. See if I can't catch a double here. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Golly. Can we get him for you? I may have to. He don't. I Just got him so, sideways. Wait a minute, I'll get him for you. Wait a minute. Oh, let me... That's a way to start a show. That's what we're after. That's right what there. we're after. Eat that crankbait. Short line me. Right at the boat. That's a good one. We got more of these to come, we hope, but that's a good start. Take five of those in any tournament. Son. Look at that big old fat belly. Let's get him in the water. It's your turn now, Kev. I might catch one. I bet it's fun. I don't need an impact wrench on my head, I don't believe. And those guys are up there busy working while we're down here playing. Can catch one. We're on the board now. He hit that shallow crankbait? Yeah. Probably a 12 inch keeper, about all he is. We're gonna catch some big ones today. Oh, he got, you got him? He, he's swimming towards the boat. Oh, is it good? No. You sure? Yeah. Small mouth. He hit it and coming towards the boat so big up fast. I thought he was a bit good and just a little in home. Call a small mouth. The problem is, they gotta be 20 inches long down here and you're only allowed one per person. You gotta use the pocket rocket again. It's one of the greatest inventions the fisherman's ever made, I believe. Saved a ton of money. Drop it down there, usually on the first knock. It'll pull it loose, knock it loose. Saved me four or five dollars right there on that plug. It's a fish, man. Just a keeper. It's a fish. Just a typical Douglas keeper. Did he want it? He started swimming off the bank with it. Come up to a little slide right here on the bank right here. I even told Nathan there would be one there. We're gonna catch some bigger ones. Yeah. Good one? No. Brown fish. Another small one. Another small mouth. He thought he was big. 
He acted big anyway. He acted big. We come off the bank with it. I see one of these jigs, $5. $5 at all? Uh, half price today. Good one? Yep. It's got a head shake to it. Oh, well, it's another good one. That's good. Hey. Better, than, better than what we've been catching. Quick release. Where's it at? We didn't want to get him in the boat. Keep everything dry. No, he we get him at, we got to put him in the boat. He was eight pounds. I didn't want to afraid he'd break well, my line. Well, I saw a big bull over here. I was afraid he'd break my line. That's a little bit better. Oh, we catch him. Oh, ah. got Nathan's going old school on me. Pulled out the old wiggle wart from 1937. Same as the year he's born, too. He's big for his size. He thought he was big. So you got to gently release him. Because you can't tell one day. They may be eight pounds, they'll remember you. Good one. That's a little better That's fish. Better fish. That's a little better one. You need a little help? No. He's, he's just a... Oh, that's a good one. Can you help him? No. Okay, you got, okay, got the back. You got the back hook. We're just barely nipping it. Nice. Oh! I didn't see nothing. <laughs> Did he have one? No. I didn't see it. Cameraman didn't see cameraman. it. I didn't see it. Nothing happened. Monster bass. Monster bass. It's all about the bite, boys. It's all about the bite. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Freddie, what am I doing wrong? Just because something appears easy doesn't mean that it is. It's just like what you say to all your clients. A small mistake now can add up and cost you much more through your future retirement. How many folks do you know that are retirement ready that are off target, that needs your help to get back on track? Exactly, but how do you hit the target every time? Just like this. It's a proven process. Take control and own your retirement. Contact the Coastal Financial Planning Group today. Luminock, the original self-contained lighted knock on the market, patented to accept replaceable lithium batteries and designed to work with all carbon aero shafts while producing the brightest results during any condition. Easily the most durable illuminated knocks to allow up to 40 hours of continuous use and are packaged and crafted to perfection for hundreds of shots. There's only one true Luminock. Luminock by Burt Coyote, made in the USA. No matter your destination, ride on a Kimco ATV or side-by-side -side and take control. Built tough, packed with power and full of features to work hard all day and play harder all weekend. Whether you're hauling hay to the shed, running the toughest trails, or heading out for a weekend hunt, you're confident, ready, and in command. Payments as low as $59 a month with 1.9% APR for 36 months during the Kimco Ride On sales event. See your local Kimco dealer today. Kimco, choose your own path and ride on. I tow over 30,000 miles a year. That's why I choose MotorMate. When towing, it's important to tow with confidence, regardless if you're going only a few miles to your local lake or 2,000 miles across the country. And one of my favorite things about MotorMate is how compact it is and how easy it is to stow away. Now that is the deal. MotorMate, proudly made in the USA. Next week's preview brought to you by SRArmory.com, where shooters come to shop. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm tore all the pieces. <laughs> yes! There he is, boys! Yes! I'm gonna catch one out there. There's a one. Jig fish. You called your shot, then. I said we catch one up there. 
This is another small one, though. Is that a little better one or about the same size? That's one? about the same size. Uh, just a baby. Babies or big, big, big baby? He's a big baby today, though. Just a Douglas keeper, that's all it is. That's what we're after, only about just a little big. Must be a little buck bass or something. He liked it, didn't he? Told you he was going to catch one. You called it. <laughs> I did call that one, didn't you I? You called it. Fish. Now Kevin's got a big one on them. Oh. Wrong species. <laughs> Kevin's got a four pounder on it. It's a drum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it ain't a four pounder, but it's a drum. I wonder how those taste. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. It's about that long. Oh. That's a small mouth. That's a small mouth, all right. Why don't you release that one real quick? <laughs> that's a dangerous small mouth. Too. Yeah, that's a dangerous one. You got him? Got the line? <laughs> 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 he tagged him, I'm just telling you. You tagged him, I think. I put the hurt on him. Fish, baby, fish, baby. Oh, that's a good one, too, I believe. I do not say good small mouth. Big small mouth. Can we help you? I don't know. I don't think this one's a carp. I think this is a real small mouth. A little small mouth? Let me help you there. Dang on that little old bitty shad drip. Oh man, that's a big one. Back hooks. Back hook? One hook's all he's got. Oh. I touched him. Oh man, that's a good one too. Mm -hmm. That actually might be a keeper. Son, that is a oh, good one. That's a good one there now. It's a chunker. Golly. Look at the belly on that one. Look at the shad. See his tails? Look at how wide that thing is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's why his belly's so big. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not, but he's got a shad sticking down in his throat. All you can see is the tail. It looks like a, yeah, a little bit. humongous shad. That is a nice one. I don't think this board here goes to 21. No, it's 15. It's got to be 20, don't it? 20. 20. Is it hanging over five inches, though? I think that's a keeper. Oh, that's an easy keeper. That's an easy keeper, yeah. He bumped over 20. That's a nice one right there. Okay. Man, what a beast of a smallmouth. That right there makes it all worthwhile. We've had a tough day catching little old dinks all day long, then you latch into one of them, and that is a keeper, a 20 plus incher right there. Dude, what a fish. Thank you for the fight. There he goes. Man, oh man. That's the way we do I it. I like it. Even on a bad day, one of them makes it worthwhile and makes you want to come back. Now we switched up, run down the lake, put a little number seven shad wrap on. That bait right there is probably older than part of you out there watching the show. That's one of those oldies but a goodie. And that big old smallmouth messed it up a little bit. So I'm gonna tune it just a little bit. It was running to the right. So I want to twist that line tied to the left just a little bit. That's one little trick you can do. If it's running to the left, coming towards you, you twist the line tie the direction you want it to go. So I twisted it to the right hand side. We'll see if it runs right. Oh man, I believe I got it. Now we're ready for another big old smile. Now you can tell by all the rods we've got out, we're really on a pattern and we have got it 
going on. We've got it narrowed down to about 20. By the end of the day, we should have it down to about 10. I believe it's time to go up the lake, Kev. What do you think? I believe we're going to have to. I'm tired of catching them down here. I wish I was. <laughs> Fish. Good one. Oh, oh not yeah. Like, not like the rest of them. That's a good one. You need some help? You can get no, he ain't nothing. Did special. you bring him? Why did we go down the lake? Come up here first place. Nothing but nothing special. Just another good keeper. Fun. 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 Hey. Down like all that time. One. Oh yes, baby. Nathan's got a good one. Ooh, he's in that wood. Oh, he's in that wood. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Get him. Just keep pressure on him. Oh, oh, easy, he's got me around that wood. Oh. Let me, take, let me turn it down there so we can get over closer. Golly. Still have him? I don't know. Not the big, I think he felt big. I don't know if he is or not. Pull that piece of wood up. Let me get that wood. Your line's moving a little bit. Is it? Yeah, he's still on there. Is he? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, he's still on there, wait a minute. He's around behind it. He's still on there. He's trying to take it easy with him. He's, he's around behind it. Here, here, get your line, get your line. You got it, you got, you got your line? Yeah. Put your rod tip, put your rod tip. Oh, I can see why it's a big one. Is it a big one? Oh, it's a great big one. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Looking for a unique getaway? Visit Kingsport, Tennessee, where breathtaking views and affordable family fun are just a short drive away. Take in the natural beauty of the mountains, rivers, and lakes. Enjoy area parks and endless opportunities for outdoor fun. Play, retreat, relax and soak up southern charm that is truly unmatched. Experience world-class lodging and a taste of Kingsport's local flavor. Good times are made in Kingsport, Tennessee. We'd love to see you here. Nathan, that was fun. I got a lot of bites, had them on, just couldn't put them in the boat. Well, Nathan, I think I've seen your problem. Uh, we're using the same bait I am, but you don't have any hooks. Tracy, if your retirement investments had performed the way mine had, you wouldn't put hooks on yours either, because they'll get hung up and you'll lose it. That crankbait's got to last me 20 years. And I have some investment options that are safe, secure, and guaranteed. Hi, I'm Tracy Burton with Preferred Insurance Solutions, and I'd like to help you with your retirement needs. We just need to talk. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Drake's Adventures, the interactive book series that gets children involved. Darn. Hey, welcome to your 3B Outdoors Drake's <laughs> Adventure segment. Hey, this week, Kevin Powers and Nathan are chasing some giant large giant. mouse with some crankbaits. Check it out. Crank, crank. Oh, I can see why it's a big one. <laughs> Is it a big one? Oh, it's a great big one. Oh, God, it's a carp. <laughs> Get it nice. Are you kidding me? It's <laughs> time. Wait, 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 wait. We got to land this mule. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, I gave him pen. <laughs> <laughs> now this, oh, gosh. Let me get my plug. Go ahead. I got, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got him now. God. All that work. <laughs> Kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> We had to go commando to get him, and I could feel him down. I knew it was a fish, man. It's all right. It's five it, that counts. It's, 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 it's oh, a battle Lord. that counts. Need me, need me to help you? No, he's one of them brothers. 
Now he choked it, looked at it. He got it where he's supposed to. I think he wanted it, man. You know, we're working on a 20 pound bag. <laughs> yeah, it's just the 20 pounds is the wrong. I mean, you know, they're big, okay? That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to catch some big fish and we've accomplished that. Two got, big car. Whoa, 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 you got a mouse in your pocket? We? I, you, I seen off. that drum. I seen that drum. Oh, that, that drum. That, that off species. But it was small. Anybody can catch a small drum. I put the herd on the big, the big carp. Well, you got to realize now, anybody can catch them in the mouth. And I think you might have caught both of those. I put them in the boat. Then. <laughs> Be the turtle man. Come on, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Live action. <laughs> Here, I'll get Live action right here, man. <laughs> put it in the boat. Put it in live wheel. Yeah, but yeah, open the live wheel. <laughs> if you get him in the boat, he'll, oh man, he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let him go. You ready? Okay. He's gone. This could be the most weight we've ever tackled. Caught. 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 I mean, you know, what was that thing? What did that turtle weigh? God, it's a huge. 20, big. 20 something? 20, 25 pound. Humongous carp. Anybody can come out here and catch bass, but it takes real outdoorsmen to do what we've done today. We call nothing on TV <laughs> outdoors. First cast. First cast, might as well take it off. Change baits. Catch a fish. And he's a monster. But he eat it. I need to put this one up. One fish, one cast. Oh, that's the, that's the big one, son. That's him, that's what we've been looking for right there all day. So that's a brown fish. That's a big, that's a big small mouth right there. Ooh. Hey! <laughs> Live action. Dude. He pointed. That's what we've been looking for right there. Is he 21? 20? No, he's probably. You sure? Yeah. Let's look. He's probably about 16, 17. He's 18. 18. 18. A, a non-keeper, but a big old small one. Man, that's a nice small mouth. It'd be a shame to have to turn that loose in the tournament, though. That's nice. Be a good keeper on Cherokee, not on Douglas. Oh, yeah. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Want to keep hunting alive for generations to come? Yep. Want to pass on our great heritage? Watch him, buddy. He's down. He's down. We got the spider. Read your kids. Drake's Adventures interactive sound books. They'll turn them into your little hunting buddies. Back up the valley. Can we? Order one today and let's get our children involved. The reality is, as an engineer, you really do look to try to make things as simple as possible. Our goal for this bow was to build the most accurate bow ever built. The result is the creation of a radically new system. You just have to shoot it to believe it. When the light is low, that's when you find them. Scouting endless hours till I choose just the right one. I'm Lamar Smith, and I'm hunting a brush country monster. Out here, seeing is truly believable. 
May Opta rifle scopes, binoculars, and spotters with twilight optimized optics give me an advantage to see more and hunt longer when I'm hot on the trail of that monster buck. Nathan, we're on dry land now. I don't think you'll need your life jacket inside the truck. And I only wish my retirement investments had a life jacket on them. My retirement options are safe, secure, and guaranteed. I can't wait to get out of this life jacket and put one on my retirement investments. Nathan, we better get going. We've already fished longer than our wives expected. We're late for dinner again. Hi, I'm Tracy Burton with Preferred Insurance Solutions, and I'd like to help you with your retirement needs. We just need to talk. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, yeah. the top choice of pros for those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Very rarely does a product come along that truly exceeds expectations. The MotorMate just happens to be one of those products. It's quickly removed, strongly built, stainless steel materials and powder coated. It's going to last a really long time. It's easily and quickly reinstalled. Hold your motor rock solid as you trailer down the road. MotorMatePro.com I told you it's going to be wild and crazy. We caught a lot of fish, a lot of good largemouth, a big smallmouth, and when Kevin got out on the bank and put the icing on the cake by wrestling that big mud turtle, well, the turtle man's TV hosting job may be in jeopardy after today. And next week, don't miss it. Freddie and those hunting guys will have you on some adventure I know you'll really enjoy. But until then, I'm Nathan Light, Thanks for watching 3B Outdoors TV, where each and every week we bring you quality hunting and fishing. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up boats, rods and reels, bows and our guns. We're team 3B, gonna have ourselves some fun. That's the way they're supposed to eat it.